Hey y'all, thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, we are going to shift the focus to Muay Thai this evening. Uh, so we're going to kind of run you through our little warm-up that we do. Make sure you get the cardio going. Make sure you break a nice sweat, get a little shadow boxing in. Uh, and then we're going to move to hip openers. And then we're going to work some technique uh, on the bag that will also translate to uh, shadow boxing if you needed to. Um, so we're going to start off. We're going to get a little loose. We're going to start moving. We're going to start going side to side just like you're skipping rope. All right, we're going to start rotating the arms forward. All right, I want you to do this for about 20 seconds. Nice, big, wide circles. After this, we're going to rotate the arms backwards, all right? Consistently breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, making sure you keep moving your feet. Never stop moving your feet, all right? Then we're going to start to work that coordination a little bit. One arm forward, one arm backwards, all right? This kind of stuff is essential to being able to go southpaw, orthodox, be able to switch stances back and forth, make it nice and comfortable. After another 20 seconds of this, you're going to switch it. And the other arm's going to go forward, other arm's going to go backwards. Moving those feet, inclining that chin, in through the nose, out through the mouth, switching over the close. Arms nice and high above the chest, 90 degree angle if you can. After this, knees up. Keep that pace, keep those hands up a little bit. Don't let your hands be down at your sides. After that, heels are gonna go up, staying on your toes. 20 seconds of that, two knees, two heels. Working that coordination again. After this, shuffling back and forth. Popping back and forth. After this, we're gonna drop down. We're gonna bang out 20 push ups, making sure your arms are directly underneath your shoulders. Head is up, back is nice and straight. Knocking out 20 perfect push ups. After you're done with 20 push ups, you're gonna hop up and you're gonna start shadow boxing. When you're shadow boxing, keeping a nice wide stance, maybe moving around. Knees are gonna be outside of the shoulders, never being narrow, never crossing our feet, always keeping good wide balance. Elbows are high, hands are up, chin is down, head is always moving. Start throwing those combinations, letting everything flow. Shadow box with open hands. Keep the shoulders nice and loose. Moving around, throwing your kicks, following them all the way through. Switching stances if you can, moving around. After that, 20 mountain climbers, 20 each leg. Same thing with the push-ups, keeping your head up. After you bang out 20, you're shadow boxing again. You're moving, you're moving, you're moving. Not stopping, not stopping. Moving around, moving around. After that, we're gonna do 20 jump squats. Continue shadow boxing, continue moving, continue moving. Moving your head. After that, 10 times, sitting, extending, keeping your arms in front of you, coming up. And continue with the shadow box. with that take a minute grab some water and breathe all right once you guys are done with your water break and your minute rest you're going to find a spot against the wall you can lean back or you can just have it close to you in case you fall back but when you're first starting i definitely suggest using the wall you're going to pick your left leg up 90 degrees at the thigh lifting your arms up elbows high tight hands up high tight chin down you're going to extend your leg 20 times on the left hand side making sure to hit with the ball of your foot. If you can't hit with the ball of your foot, bottom of your foot. After 20 on the left, you're gonna switch it and you're gonna do 20 on the right. When you're done with that, we're gonna turn around, hands, chest height, left leg is gonna come up as high as you can, back is straight, kicking back up, looking over your shoulder, turning the foot, that's one. After you do 20 on the left, you're gonna also do 20 on the right. When you're done with these, you're gonna turn the toes of your right foot into the wall and be far enough away where you can lean. Your left foot is gonna come up even with your face, left arm is gonna come up. Chambering, extending. 
chambering, extending. Not this, no power. Bring the knee into your chest and extend. If you can do blade edge of your foot, great. If not, bottom of your foot. After you do 20 on the left, you're gonna switch. Come out, lean in, lift, and 20 on the right. After you're done with these, you're gonna face the wall again. Toes of the right foot are slightly angled, just a 45 this time. Hands are chest tight, kicking the left leg through, toes are up, looking at them, kicking it back through, toes to the wall, looking at the foot. That's one, two, three, four. You're gonna do 20 on the left and 20 on the right. Again, the foot angles, hands are chest tight, back is straight, looking, lift, looking, lift. Looking, lifting, keeping both hands against the wall so you make sure you're working those hips. After you're done with 20 of those, you're gonna immediately drop down into a wall sit for three minutes. Back is straight, hands can be here, hands can be here for more challenge, all right? But even with your knees, 90 degrees for everything, breathing into it. You're gonna hang here. Three minutes, set a timer, try and count it yourself, whatever makes you feel better. Bless, thank you guys. All right guys, now that we're all loose and warmed up and opened up, we're gonna move to some work on the heavy bag. If you guys don't have a heavy bag, don't sweat it. You can shadow box these combinations. You can also throw some towels and some duct tape around a pole that you might have in the garage or off the back deck. Just so make sure if you do do that, you wear shin guards and you use a lot less power and bring the speed down so that way you don't hurt yourself. All right, we're gonna start off with something nice and simple. We're gonna throw a jab cross head kick. What it looks like, all right? To break that down, when I throw my jab, I want my shoulder nice and high to protect my chin, my jab fires, and my front foot steps out and pivots. I'm hiding the beginning of my kick. When I throw my cross, my jab is gonna come back to my face, and my hip turn for my cross is the same hip turn for my head kick, making sure to hit with the shin and not the foot. All right, so we're gonna keep throwing that. this. And we're gonna throw that for about two minutes, all right? I don't want you to throw with all power. I want the technique to be the number one priority. If your technique starts to suffer, bring the power and the speed back. All right, our next combination it's gonna be a little bit different, slightly trickier. It's gonna be jab, cross, switch on that jab, and you're gonna throw a head kick. And switch back. And switch back. When I throw my jab and cross, it's the same thing. Jab, cross. Now I'm not pivoting my front foot. I'm gonna throw the cross and switch my stance to hide. And now I'm gonna throw my back leg, which was my front leg, up for a head kick. And bring myself back and switch back to my original stance. All right, full speed. And we're gonna work that combination for two minutes as well. If you guys are doing this right, you should be dead tired at the end of this. All right, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Oops.